participants in public life, whether they are scientists, politicians, journalists, um, always have to think about you know, what they're saying and the way in which they're saying, whether it has wider ramifications. And I don't think uh, what Professor Nutt said um, about the respective merits of uh, taking ecstasy and riding horses was you know, particularly, um, particularly good way of putting it, if I can put it that way. Um, but yes, we need to have good scientific advice. There needs to be a proper confidence and a good relationship. The relationship should be basically that the advisers advise and the ministers decide. But I hope we could avoid the sort of unseemly spat that we've seen over the last few days. Having the Home Secretary shouting on the television doesn't actually inspire confidence that the government's got a good grip of the issue of drugs. I think if they want to look at something they really need to do in terms of drug policy is they need to look at the massive amount of money they've spent on the National Treatment Agency, money that could have been spent in many cases on actually programmes to help people off drugs, and I think they need to shift the emphasis massively from simply handing out methadone to heroin addicts, keeping them addicted to opium on the state. They need to look at that and work out how can we actually get more people through residential and other rehab courses to actually get them off drugs to live a drug-free life. And I think this is something where the government's drugs policy is very short-sighted and doesn't think through the real benefits and the real cost saving for the whole country, as well as delivering for someone a better life, of actually getting someone off drugs altogether.